Mr. President, uh, well, uh, first of all, I would like to say that I'm honored to have this opportunity uh, to meet with you and the parliamentary uh, assembly later uh, this afternoon. Uh, we just have a very good and constructive conversation. Uh, I want to also here in public to con congratulate you once more with your election as, as president. You take on the job on a very difficult time with a lot of challenges. Um, and we want to be as supportive as, as, as possible. Um, we just discussed the, uh, the current issues on the agenda and the way forward on the different challenges uh, uh, the organization faces right now. Um, some of them are linked to budgetary uh, challenges. Um, and we also, of course, discussed the Danish chairmanship's ambition to continue the reform of the European human rights system. And a part of this is, as you just mentioned, uh, campaigning to persuade uh, more countries to ratify Protocol uh, 15. Um, reforming and consolidating uh, the European human rights system is one among several Danish priorities. And it's important for me to uh, emphasize that th this is not in order to weaken the system, uh, quite the contrary. Uh, it is in order to preserve a strong uh, human rights system because, as you rightly mentioned, Denmark is such a country uh, which is uh, strongly behind the idea of democracy and, and personal freedom. And we need a pan-European system to ensure that. But we also need to ensure that it, this is an efficient system which is uh, focused and, 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 and balanced. So once again, Mr. President, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.